For one hour, a killer with an AR-15 style rifle was inside an elementary school where he slaughtered 19 children and two teachers. For one hour, police officers were right there outside the classroom but did not enter. For an hour, small children lay dead, dying, and wounded, trapped inside with that gunman. It took an hour for a tactical team to finally burst in and kill the mass shooter in Uvalde, Texas. Many families asking tonight, why did it take that long? Why didn't officers storm the classroom right away to stop the killer's massacre? Today, Texas state law enforcement didn't have much of an answer yet. They don't make entry initially because of the gunfire they're receiving. But we have officers calling for additional resources. There was numerous officers at that classroom, numerous. Should the officers have gone in sooner? Should they have waited for those tactical teams or should they have gone right in? That's a tough question. Should those have I don't have enough information to answer that question just yet. Can you explain to us how he was barricaded and why you guys cannot breach that door? So I have taken all your questions into consideration. We will be doing updates. Cell phone videos show distraught family members crying out in anguish as police officers tried to keep them back from the school. One man appears to be pinned to the ground here. At least one officer has a taser drawn. The New York Times reports parents furiously stormed the police to storm the school sooner, according to eyewitnesses. One of those eyewitnesses told the New York Times that the dads were asking the cops for bulletproof vests so that they themselves could go in and stop the shooter. Video shows the gunman walking into the school. The Texas Department of Public Safety made a significant correction today. Yesterday, they told us, a school resource officer tried but failed to stop the gunman from entering the school. Now they say that didn't happen. It was reported that a school district police officer confronted the suspect that was making entry. Not accurate. He walked in unrestructed initially. Well, those reports of a school resource officer were from the head of the Texas Department of Public Safety. In fact, here's their spokesman on Fox News yesterday. There was an encounter between the school resource officer as well as the shooter, uh, but because of those heroic efforts and because of the encounter from that school resource officer, that gunman uh, dropped a bag, a backpack full of ammunition prior to going into that school. Not true. Now they say there was no school resource officer on campus at all when the gunman showed up and knew just tonight another major change. Texas investigators tell NBC News that victims were found in four different classrooms. Previously, they told us the victims were all in one double classroom. Investigators now say they tried to negotiate with the gunman and that there wasn't much gunfire as they attempted to talk to him. We're also now told some of the students inside that classroom made it out alive. CBC's Perry Russum live in Uvalde and has been breaking down exactly what did happen and has a step-by-step -step reconstruction of how the massacre unfolded. Perry. Chef, we are learning the gunman started firing at the school when he was arriving, when he was walking toward the school, and two officers were shot. You mentioned that hour-long wait. It seems Border Patrol was the reason for that holdup, and today we asked the man in charge of Border Patrol if parents have a right to be upset about that response time. Shortly after 11 in the morning, the gunman shoots his grandmother in the face and takes off in a pickup truck. Took off, I mean, there was <laughs> rocks flying all over. He drives three-tenths of a mile and crashes into a ditch at 1128. He walks around, he sees two witnesses at the funeral home across the street from where he wrecked. He engages and fires towards them. Investigators say the shooter walks about 200 feet climbs a fence to the school parking lot and enters Robb Elementary at 11.40. Police are there four minutes later. The shooter turns down short hallways and barricades himself in a classroom. They don't make entry initially because of the gunfire they're receiving. But we have officers calling for additional resources. Everybody that's in the area, tactical teams. We need equipment. We need specialty equipment. U.S. Border Patrol's tactical teams are called. It takes them nearly an hour to arrive. Investigators say the teams made entry, then shot and killed the gunman. Raul Ortiz is the chief of Border Patrol. I am awfully, awfully proud of the men and women that responded to this scene on Tuesday. Are parents right to be upset about the response time? Are they right to be upset about the response time? 
Are, are, should they be upset or no? Chief Ortiz got into his car and left without ever answering that question. NBC is reporting another reason for this whole holdup was that they needed a key to get inside of the school. The principal had the key, but today there was no mention of that in that news conference chat. Perry, you heard from a student who was inside the school during the shooting? Yes, her name is Aubriella. She is nine years old in the third grade. By chance, she was asking her teacher if she could go to the bathroom. So she walked down the hallway, entered the bathroom. Moments later, the gunman walked inside the school. I hear shoot, shoot the shooter, try to shoot at an officer. They ran past the restroom and went back inside. What were you thinking as you were hiding in that bathroom for so long? I think I was just like trying to like be still, not like move, talk. I was just crying my head, just don't make no noise. She was crying in her hands so she wouldn't make a noise. Nine years old, third grader, talking about these things. She said that she was hiding for what felt like hours. She saw the shoes of the gunman. We spoke with her mom right after we talked to Abriella. Are you comfortable sending your daughter back to the school? Oh, no, most definitely not. <laughs> no, they, we don't even, I don't believe there's even cameras, so no, we, we didn't, there was no security whatsoever for these kids. Abriella and her mom were right here, right where we are standing right now, because they were dropping off flowers for the students who died. Shep. Perry Russum, live tonight in Uvalde.